Okay, so welcome back and in this session we are going to discuss in detail about faces, edges and vertices of the solid shapes. We will define what do we mean by these three and then we take some examples. So let us proceed ahead with our discussion. So first, what, what do we mean by an edge for a solid shape? Put in simple words, edges are nothing but the line segments that form the skeleton of the solid shape. Okay, so let us take the example of a cuboid here and if we have a look at this cuboid closely, we will find out that the cuboid is constructed out of line segments. So there are different line segments which you can find out here. For example, this is one line segment, this is another one. So we can just count the number of segments which is uh, which are used in leads into this cuboid. So we have this one, two, three, four segments, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve. So this skeleton structure, right, skeleton structure for this cuboid is made out of twelve line segments. 12 line segments or we can also call them as 12 edges for this. Now let us see what do we mean by a face. Now faces are flat surfaces enclosed by the edges and it is important for us to know that a face for a solid shape will be a two dimensional shape. So let us again continue with our example. So in this case, we have to find out the surfaces which are enclosed by the edges. So let us take the surface which is enclosed by the four edges. Let's say this is edge 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now these four edges, they form this flat surface. So when I look at this edge from this direction, I would see a flat surface like this. This is the type of flat surface which I would be seeing, right? So we can count the number of faces for a solid shape. So let us try doing this. So first we start, this is number one. Let's say this is number one. Then we come here on the top two. Then we move on towards this side, which will be the third number face. Then we go towards the bottom, which will be the fourth number. Now we see from the front side, right? Then this is the fifth face. And we see from the back side, this is the sixth phase. So we see that this cuboid has six phases. Right? And again, I would like to reiterate the fact that the face is a two-dimensional shape. Face for a solid is a two-dimensional shape, as we have seen here. Now let us understand what do we mean by vertices. So vertices are the corners where the edges meet. So let us again take our example, earlier example of this cuboid and find out where the edges are meeting. So we have this point where the edges are meeting, right? And we have this point, okay? Similarly, we have a point over here, we have a point over here. And so again, we have this point where the three edges meet, this point where the three edges meet and this point as well as this one. So if we count this four on this side and four on this side. So we have eight vertices for the cuboid. Okay. So now let us try to find out the face edge, edges and the vertices for a few more shapes. Okay. So this is the example which we just uh, saw right now. I mean the earlier example was that of a cuboid. This is of cube which says that there is a face, an edge and a vertex. And I just showed you that a cube, cuboid or a cube will have six faces. We counted that there were how many? 12 edges and 8 vertices. Okay, so 12 edges because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 3 in the back which will be looking something like this. Just trying to draw. So, so it is 9 uh, edges. Now if you have a look at this figure, 
let's say they have given us four faces so let us try to figure out and then they have also told that we have four vertices and then which implies that we need to find out the edges in this figure so let's try to have a look at this so we have let us say that this is my face number one face two one face is from definitely from the bottom and the one that we see here will be the third one okay so so we have three faces now vertices have r4 so how do we find out four vertices well i can see one two three and four okay so four vertices are there now this kind of suggests to me that there must be a edge which i am not able to see from here because of our view from here so that it there, there will be an edge from here so now based on this information we can now proceed to find out the edges so we can already see these many edges 1 2 3 4 5 and then this will be the sixth edge so we have six edges for this figure here now let us try to find out the faces edges and the vertices for this figure so i can clearly see that since there are four sides to the structure of a cuboid so uh, there are four faces the fifth one will be in the bottom plus we also have the another four uh, type of structures go back to this yeah so yeah so we have one two three four five and four here so we will be having nine faces here this was six now if you want to find out the edges okay it's uh, it's it's pretty straightforward over here so we have this four edges standing parallelly four here then another four going towards the upper side so four and four eight eight plus another four it is twelve twelve and four so we have sixteen edges and how many vertices do we have so we have four in the bottom these four vertices these are the four vertices then we have another four right these four vertices and of course we also have a vertice over here because here also there are various so how many we have eight and one it's nine so we have nine vertices right now let us try to find out the face edge and vertices for this shape so see this is nothing but a small part is cut out let's say from this cube if we cut out a small part something like this right when we cut out for example if you have a cheese and you cut out a part like this you will get this and so we need to find out how many faces are there so so we know that um, a cube has six faces so this will have six but in addition to this we have one more so in this case we'll have seven faces for the solid shape now how many edges okay so we already know that a cube has 12 edges right but in addition to those 12 edges we have three more formed because of the cut that we have done right so it is 12 11 12 and 13 sorry 12 13 14 and 15 so we have 15 edges and how about the vertices now again we know that there are eight vertices right but there is a catch here we cut one vertice off right we already cut one from this so we would then end up with seven in this case but then again we have three more new corners where this edges are meeting so it's seven plus so for i mean yeah so if we discount the vertex that was existing here we have seven and three more so this amounts to ten ten vertices so this is how you would proceed to find out the faces edges and vertices for various solid shapes so uh, this was all the discussion about that and see you soon in the next lecture